Hi everyone, uh, this is Agon Homza, and as always, I'm here with my colleague and friend uh, Frank Ruda. I welcome you to the fifth, uh, to our fifth episode of the Christ and Critique podcast, Philosophy and its Other Sea. Although this has become a cliche, it is safe to say that uh, today's uh, guest needs no introduction. Whatever we may wish to say about him has already been said. The two is transcended by the vast and profound uh, scope of his, uh, his work. Jacques Rancière is a professor emeritus at Université de Paris 8. He is undoubtedly one of the most significant, important, and influential philosophers and thinkers of uh, our time. In 1960, he joined École Normale Supérieure, where he studied with Louis Althusser. During this period at the École, Rancière was a founder or a co-founder, he can correct us uh, later, I suppose, of the influential Cahiers uh, Marxist-Leninist. Uh, in 1964, 65, Rancière took part in Althusser's seminar on uh, Marxist uh, capital, which culminated in the publication of the now classic uh, reading uh, Capital. His chapter is entitled The Concept of Critique and the Critique of Political Economy from 1884 Manuscripts to Capital. This is one of the most important contributions or chapters in the book. And if I uh, may take a make a personal uh, note here, it was a very significant text in the time I was studying Althusser and I was writing my, uh, my doctoral, uh, doctoral thesis. But the event of uh, 68, uh, about which we hope to talk uh, during our conversation today, marked the end of uh, Ranciere's uh, relation uh, with Althusser, initiating the beginning of a new period of, in his thinking and, uh, and writing. This break was formalized, so to speak, in his uh, Althusser's uh, lesson, uh, published in 1974 in France, uh, which is also Rancière's first, uh, first monograph, if I'm not uh, mistaken. In a way, this book inaugurates his break also with Marxism, but which I think is safe to say uh, comes to be realized a little, uh, a little later. Uh, Jacques Rancière has written about art, uh, politics, history, education, films. But as some commentators have suggested, suggested his oeuvre is a noting of politics, aesthetics, and education. Although it is quite impossible to outline or to elucidate his project here, perhaps his book, The Ign Ignorant Schoolmaster, Five Lessons in Intellectual Emancipation, can serve as a... Uh, as a sort of a condensation of this triad. Rancière has written many, many books, uh, more than a dozen of which have been translated into many languages, and yet a great many of them remain to be translated. Uh, I'm not going to mention all of them here, although I have already mentioned three of them by, uh, uh, till now. Instead, I will give a very abridged uh, bibliography of Jacques Rancière's oeuvre, the Night of Labor, The Worker's Dream in 19th Century France, Disagreement, Politics and Philosophy, The Aesthetic Unconscious, The Politics of Aesthetics, The Distribution of the Sensible, The Emancipated Spectator, uh, Staging the People, The Proletarian and His Double, which is a compilation of articles published in uh, the Logical Revolt between uh, 1975 and 1981, I think, and his most recent books in English uh, are Modern Times, Temporality in Art and uh, Politics, and The Time of the Landscape on the Origin of Aesthetic uh, Revolution. Dear Jacques, it is our great pleasure to have you in this episode of uh, Christ and Critique podcast. Now I will hand things over to my friend Frank to start off our conversation with Jacques Rancière by asking the first question. Um. Thank, thanks, thanks, Argon, for this, uh, and thank you so much. I'm, I'm also very uh, grateful uh, for, for you to be with us, uh, Jacques Rancière. Um, um, and to begin with a, with a sort of biographical question. I mean, you studied at the Ecole Normale Supérieure during quite an intense um, historical period, and it was intense. Um, we think um, on a philosophical or theoretical level because 
Well, new orientations of thought emerged um, that were that became quite uh, influential, notably structuralism. But it was also politically, obviously, intense because, um, well, I mean, the, there were the protests against the war in Algeria and obviously the event or if one pluralizes it, the events around and off May 68 with all their potentials and all their impasses and all their um, 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 new perspectives. Um, you were active on both of these fronts. You co-authored Reading Capital. You founded the Cahier Marxist Leninist. You were a political militant. What is your present take on this, I mean, very lively historically maybe even disorienting historical sequence or periods. What remains, if we may say so, from the struggles of that time, conceptually on one side and politically on the other? Well, of course, there are, there are two, two, two ways of answering. The first, of, of course, the first answer could be that not much remains, uh, remains from, from the hopes of that time, because there were the political hopes. It was the time of decolonization, uh, big uh, anti-capitalist movements, anti-autoritarian movements in Western, in Western countries. So uh, the Cultural Revolution, so the idea that we live we, we were living in a new age of revolution, you know, and at the same time, of course, we were students uh, and we had the idea that we, we were we are contributed to the form of intelligibility, you know, that would match <laughs> that, 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 that period. So the, 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 the idea, the idea of, of course, of uh, well, a new, uh, a new, new form or or rather, you know, the idea of, of going back, you know, to, to true Marxism and making true Marxism, you know, really compatible with the present and not, not really con compatible with, you know, with all these, uh, these inventions in philosophy and social science that, that were ranked uh, under the name of uh, structuralism. Okay, uh, uh, clear, clearly, uh, clearly, you know, the hopes, the political hopes, you know, have all vanished, you know. And as for our project of a kind of structuralist Marxism, it, it proved, it proved, I would say, inconse inconsistent, you know. So, okay, but I think that was mismatches, you know, uh, where, where, the, where the source, you know, of, uh, of a new, of, of, of a new energy, or at least it was, it was what happened, uh, you know, to, to, to me, you know, because politically, politically, well, what was important, what was important, you know, it was, was this, uh, this clash, you know, this clash between our scientific Marxism and the reality of students' revolt in, in 60 and, 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 and 68, which were, which which meant which meant you know well uh, polit politically you know uh, it was the emergence of a kind of right to rebel you know that, that had not that, that had not to be justified you know by historical science historical necessity and so on and politically I think it was a, it was the beginning of uh, in France at least you know of a, of a democratic movement which was very important but was very important because it it could for half a century you know resist you know, the offensive of uh, absolutized capitalism. So it was, it, 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 it was, it was, it was something. And conceptually, or conceptually also, you know, of course, there, there was a, this clash between our Marxist science and the students' revolt, which, which for us, you know, for us was important because, well, it was a kind of a distance, a distance, you know, with the idea of historical necessity. It was, a, well, it was a Possibility of thinking politics for of thinking politics, you know, uh, as uh, disconnected from science, you know. So the the, the 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 link between science and politics, you know, was was broken. And I would say that that for me, you know, uh, that it was the very idea of a kind of a global rationality, you know, that would encompass uh, science, politics, art, and everything. That 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 was that was broken. That was and if it was broken. It, it meant that well, there were fragments in everywhere, forms of rationality, you know, that have, that had to be, you know, explored, you know, explored in 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 themselves. So there was a possibility, really, of reconnect of reconnecting things, of inventing or finding, you know, new new forms of connection between the, between ter territories. So I think it was really a, a moment of experimentation, and uh, what well, I. 
I would emphasize this word experimentation because it was a time when, in a, in a sense, everything was possible. Everything was possible, and but also all possibles were experimented. All possibles were put to test. You know, we had the we had the we had the idea of of a new of of, of a reinvented Marxism. You know, and one well, and and we tried to reinvent it. You know, we, we did not invent anything, but it, it but 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 it, it was an experimentation. You know. And we had also the idea of, uh, well, of uh, new forms of connection between uh, uh, between uh, you know uh, Marxism and uh, social and social movements and social struggle. You know, and well, this encounter, you know, this new encounter happened. It happened in two ways. Uh, first, you know, was well, the, the clash of uh, Mark, of uh, Altus against science with uh, students' revolt, and second, also, you know, the 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 the, 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 the Attempts, you know, at breaking at, at breaking the separation, you know, between the, um, between intellectual and manual labor, uh, and labor between intellectuals and workers, and so on. So everything, uh, everything was was exper was exper experimented, you know. And of course, uh, the result was never what was expected, you know. But I think that the surprise, you know, and the surprise and the and, and the disappointment were a source of of of, of new energy, you know. Well, there was a at that moment, you know, uh, a sentence in a film that, that, that was very, you know, emblematic to us. You know, it it was in a joint in. A, in Fritz Lang Moonfleet, you know, uh, the, the sentence of the boy, you know, the, ex, uh, uh, the, the experience was beneficial, you know. Uh, and for us, I would say that the experience was was beneficial because, well, uh, you, as we, um, uh, as we were not, we were not really scientists uh, applying our science to, to to social reality. Well, uh, well, it was it was also a kind of new new kind of of freedom. You know what, what was important for me. You know, in, uh, around uh, around sixty eight is the fact of being divested. You know of my of of, of my science. And and you are, when you are divide, divested from our science, you you can you, you can start you can start learning. You know and. Uh, I, and I, I, I had the possibility, you know, of learning all my life. I would say because because there had been that kind of break, you know, in some science, the break between science as territory of inquiry, you know, and science as a social as a social position. So I, I think for uh, I think for we we really it, it was very it, it was very important, you know, good because very very often you know, of course you think that well when it fails, of course there is resentment, et cetera, et cetera, and disillusion, et cetera. But it was it, 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 it was not it was not the case, you know. It, it was not a kind of uh, of uh, well, uh, I think I could be introduced to a kind of knowledge, you know, which is not based on uh, well, uh, of, 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 resent, of resentment, you know. And so uh, I, I think what uh, what was uh, very important, you know, at, at that moment for, for me, or, but perhaps it's kind it's kind of retrospective view, of course, you know. Well, is this kind of connection between uh, between uh, between two things, you know, political things you, you are not obliged to accept, you know, and also uh, and a conceptual thing you are not obliged to think uh, to think that you that you, uh, that you know. You know. And, and and for well, and this is what dissensus is about. You know, consensus is about the well, the concordance between the state of things and the state of no and the state of knowledge. And and the point is that uh, well, today may, may many people know may many people know you know, and that's why they accept you know. And we 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 are, we we are lucky enough you know to well to live in that time of experimentation. You know, well you we experimented. It was a failure, but okay, we, we started again. <laughs> Well, I want to to remain within the same historical period for, for a little bit longer. Your first book, Althusser's uh, Lesson, marked your rupture with your uh, teacher and, uh, and uh, co-author, Louis, Louis Althusser. Uh, the monograph, as well as the rupture with Althusser, appear to be as a consequence of your Maoism uh, of that period. Is that correct? Uh, it seems to have, to have a, a direct bearing on the idea of uh, radical egalitarianism. But at that point, you did not break with Marx entirely, right? Uh, what was there in Marx that got lost in, uh, mis misinterpreted by, or even forgotten uh, 
uh, in Altusat, of course, if our rendering of all this is, uh, is correct. Well, uh, first, uh, uh, first, I would answer, you know, by, uh, well, by putting things uh, the other way around, you know, I mean, but I did not criticize Altusat because I, well, I had become a Maoist. No, <laughs> it's a contrary, you know, I, well, I joined a Maoist organization uh, because I had broken with Althusser, because because there had been this kind of confrontation of Althusserianism with social revolt that, that happened in 68, and that happened in uh, two ways. Uh, first, uh, there was the fact that, uh, well, uh, this uh, st student, student, uh, the student's critique of academic knowledge that had been stigmatized by Althusser, you know, as petty bourgeois ideology, etc., uh, proved, ab proved able, you know, to, to create, uh, to create, in fact, the widest, uh, the widest social and political movement, uh, you know, in, in, in a whole century in France, you know, that, that's the first point, you know, and the second point is that, you know, at the time of restoration, you know, uh, well, at the second rhetoric was very, was very efficient, was very efficient, and it was held by, it was held by people who, who wanted, who wanted to, to restore the economic, to, to, the, the academic, the academic, uh, the academic order, the authority of, 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 of knowledge, you know. So uh, I think that there was this, uh, this experience of the, of the reality, you know, of, of uh, the reality of the effects, you know, of Althusserianism, you know, in a time of, in a, in a time of rebellion, you know. And of course, uh, from the, uh, as, uh, you know, as regards Marx, um, and Marx and Marxism themselves, you know, I would say that, that for, for me, of course, uh, it was a, it was the beginning of a suspicion about the revolutionary, revolutionary potential of of Marxism itself, you know, and it was the origin of my very long. Uh, inquiry, you know, uh, well, inquiry about uh, about uh, about workers' struggle, which was also an inquiry, you know, about perhaps the original gap between between the logic of those struggles and the logic of of Marx's interpretation, you know. But so um, so it 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 it, 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 so it, it is the first point, but. You know, uh, but uh, I had at, at, at that moment, you know, to concentrate more specifically, you know, on the uh, Althusserian case, you know, and specifically at a, at a moment, uh, so it was, I think, 1973, uh, you know, when, well, uh, there was a kind of uh, a new rise of Althusserianism, you know, <laughs> the, the moment, uh, the moment, in a way, uh, when the the, the dynamics, the dynamics, you know, of the Altusian enterprise, you know, was was relaunched, you know, and relaunched in two in two ways uh, with uh, this text, you know, a letter a letter to John uh, to John Lewis and with the reedition re of um, uh, of uh, reading capital, and on the well uh, on the uh, on, on the first stage, you know, well I read uh, I read a letter to John Lewis and I was. Well, a, a bit, uh, a bit uh, shocked, you know, shocked, you know, by this uh, kind of old Stalinian rhetor rhetoric, you know, these very statements, you know, you, you you must say, you know, masses make history, not man makes history, because this is uh, ideological, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, that was uh, that was uh, the very time, you know, of the of the leap struggle in France, you know. So the workers, so the workers of the leap factory decided deciding, you know, really to occupy the to occupy the so so the factory and to rest to to restart uh, to restart the production on their own. So it was a kind of re reinvention of an old of an old uh, polit uh, workers 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 practice, you know. And what the, 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 the relationship, you know, uh, between this uh, this form of, of 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 struggle, you know, and Althusserian the dogmatic statements was, was a bit striking. And the second point, of course, is uh, that there, there was uh, there was so, so so the new publication of uh, Reading Capital, you know, reint uh, reintegrating the text that had been uh, that had been dismissed from the from the second edition. So, well, it was uh, it was a moment when uh, when uh, from Althusser's point of view, you know, it it appeared as if nothing had happened. You know? Nothing had happened in sixty eight or around sixty eight. So I wrote uh, Althusser's lesson for, uh, first uh, for, uh, to, to, to say that something had happened. 
and also uh, to say that I was no was no more member, you know, of the family of the family circle, you know. So it it, it was it, it was a, well a just and we say a settling of accounts, you know, with Althusserianism, and it's true that at, at that moment I had uh, no uh, no need, you know, well, to to discuss Marxism uh, Marxism in general, you know. Yes, and, and I did not want to oppose, you know, true Marxism to Althusser, to, uh, to Althusserian ma ma Marxism, you know. So uh, when I confronted, you know, Mar uh, Althusser, Althusser statements with Marx statements, you know, it was not to oppose truth, you know, to, 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 to error, just uh, to say that it was a kind of very strange uh, orthodoxy, you know, because, because Althusser, Althusser purported to be a really true Marxist, uh, uh, orthodox Marxist, and, uh, and at the same time, obviously, he did not say, he did not say the same thing. So, but, 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 but my, my point was, uh, was not, you know, playing the part of the true Marxist, you know, uh, against the false Marxists, you know, because at that moment, of course, I had the idea of that one well, long run inquiry, but, but that will precisely start uh, just, ju just, ju just, just after, you know, and uh, we'll see. Uh, at that at, at that moment, so I had created with uh, with, with some with some friend this uh, center of uh, research center on the, the ideologies of revolt, you know, and well, and precisely, I think I, I remember, you know, we decided that the, the first seminar, you. Know, uh, will uh, will be on the the year 1844, meaning the year where Marx was in Paris. You know, and at the same time, of course, there were there were things up happening. You know, on the on the side of workers' struggles, and well, start thinking about relation. So so uh, it was. I, I think uh, it was what what I can. It is what I can say. You know about my relation to Marx at that moment. I would say that. My relation, uh, my, my relationships with Marxism was, well, was just suspended. You know, <laughs> it was a matter of experimentation again. Um, thank you so much. I mean, the, 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 the next question connects um, pretty directly to the question of the, let's say, maybe not ideologies of revolt, but to the structures of revolt, because you, in that period, you also founded the genre revolt logique, logical revolts. And um, can you tell us a little bit about the, the idea behind this genre? Um, so, because if we, if we raise a question or if we inquire into its Maoist title, why is it logical to revolt? What's the logical structure? It seems to have some something to do with what you said um, at the very beginning that one is not obliged to accept the existing knowledge or obliged to accept what, what seems to be politically existing. So why is it logical to revolt? And in what way is it a result driven by logical by logics, by logical thinking? And is there still something you would consider um, of contemporary significance or contemporary idea? Is it, so to speak, always or still logical to revolt? Okay, uh, well, to, to make the, the, the connection you know, between the, the, the two questions, you know, uh, well, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I will start, uh, I will start, you know, by answering to part of the uh, of the former question, you know, uh, uh, about radical equality, you know, and uh, well, and uh, well, ma'am, uh, what is important is that my my own take on equality, you know, uh, doesn't come from Maoism, you know, it, it, and it doesn't come from uh, from the critic of Althusser, you know, because I, I, at, uh, at the Maoist moment, you know, I had the, well, um, I had not, I had not really formalized, you know, my my own take on equality. So equality was just thought of as a kind of of reversal, you know. Not we have to tell through the truth to to workers, but workers have to tell the truth to us, you know. So workers are our masters, you know. So it was reversal, but it was not. It was not equality it, 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 because uh, so so my my own take of on equality really, uh, you know, arose from uh, uh, from my. Uh, Later work on, on on emancipation, you know, on social and intellectual emancipation. So with the idea that what equality, that, that equality first is a presupposition and a process of verification of that of, of, of that presupposition, you know, equality as, as a process of that equality as a kind of a measure, you know, or, or relationship between two positions. No, 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 I come, I, I, I come to the, 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 the revolt logic. Okay. Uh, first, you know, I never, we never planned, you know, to create a journal for explaining that it is logical to 
to revolt. You know. Well, the first, the first, the first point, you know, is that, uh, well, uh, I, I did not, uh, you know, planning. Uh, Wally did not, uh, did not. Uh, uh, it, it was not it was not really important in the, in my career, you know. So because uh, well, so I did not decide. I did, I did not decide to create uh, the Marxist uh, Marxist Leninist, you know, the Marxist paper. No, nor did I decide to create a new journal, you know. No, we, uh, um, at the beginning it was just thought of as a kind of uh, of light publication, kind of kind of newspaper, you know, just to uh, just to 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 to, to give information about our research you know and and well more generally you know uh, you know i think that uh, the future the future you know uh, you know emerges from the dynamics of the of, of the present and not from, uh, from uh, not from plans you know etc well well the second point is that um, revolt logic is not a maoist title no it's not it, it, well, you know it's not uh, well uh, you know, it comes, of course, as you know, it it it, it comes from Ram, uh, from Rimbaud. You know, well, so you we looked for a title, but, but at the same time, you know, w w would uh, create kind of I would say poetic distance, you know, with immediate with immediate politics, you know, and 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 second, you know, we wanted to have uh, something related. Well, to the French working class tradition, and and notably, of course, to, to 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 the Paris Commune, you know, and this is how I, I came, I came up, I came upon, you know, the, so Rimbaud's revolt, revolt logic we will slaughter the rev logical revolts. So, and of course, a sentence that we used in a distorted way, you know. Well, so now, if you well. If, if if we think if try to think of the of the meaning you know of the, of this title you know the meaning was not simply it is right to revolt but revolt as its own rationality you know so the, the point was undermining the the, the old opposition you know where the, uh, on the one side revolt as a spontaneous and momentary rational observed and on the other side of course uh, the revolution of the long process you know step step after step you know under the guidance of of science okay so, so first uh, so first I think uh, the, the first point was about time you know uh, with the idea that the opposition is not between short time and long time. But it was about homogeneous time and heterogeneous time, you know. So revolt, re revolt is not short, absurd. No, revolt means the opening of a new of of, of a new time, and all revolutions have have started as revolts, you know, with, mean, meaning breaks with a certain order of time. So not a vanishing moment, but a reconfiguration of the of the, of the, well, the, the coordinates of time of time and space you know and all as, as i said all revolutions started like this you know and uh, you, you, you know that uh, 1917 revolution you know in in russia started with a women's strike you know and not not with the decision of the of the bolshevik party okay but the first point you know concerning time the second the second you know um, you know deals with uh, with you no know, with science and knowledge you know so uh, re our, our, what what we try to show is that a, re, a revolt is not a, uh, is not an irrational absurd absurd but a form of experimental knowledge you know we, uh, uh, again against uh, you know the dogmatic view you know uh, uh, you know uh, revolution as application of science first you have, first you have to know and when you know you can act no of course the, the idea is uh, well is that the Action is a form of knowledge, or a form of a form of reconstruction of of knowledge. You know, the the enfolding of the of the revolt. You know, well, 
alters alters you know the very forms of the knowledge of the knowledgeable you know it produces new knowledge about situations about state institutions about about forms of action and it awakens new new capacity new capacity well for per for percepting for thinking and for and for action so so the idea was uh, well knowledge uh, well revolt is a form of of knowledge and more generally action you know uh, action is a form of knowledge because because precisely you know it, it transforms the very landscape you know, the very landscape of of knowledge well, 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 well another point you know but uh, is that uh, 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 revolt logic, you know, uh, was not was not precisely a kind of uh, well uh, an hymn, you know, to the beauty of to the beauty of revolt, you know. Uh, well, instead, instead, it was an inquiry about the contradictions of re the contradictions of revolts, you know, and 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 from uh, from the very big from the very beginning, you know, it was about the complexities and contradictions of revolts, uh, and, and notably the, the tension, notably the tension, you know, between the uh, between workers who work struggle and feminist uh, and, 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 fe and feminist action you know so the idea that well there is no single voice of the people no single voice from below but well contradiction contradiction between uh, between forms of revolt uh, between reasons for revolting etc so if you ask me uh, well is it still valuable you know today uh, uh, yes I, I I would say yes for me it's more than ever a contemporary idea because now, of course, uh, since the horizon of a revolution, you know, brought about by history and it itself, you know, has, has vanished, you know, of course, we, 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 are, we are again in this oscillation, oscillation between the particularization of struggles, you know, and well, the great communal mo movement, movement. So I think, well, uh, the, the, the question of the logic of of, re of revolt, you know, is is really at, uh, on the agenda. Uh, perhaps more, uh, uh, even even more, even more now, you know, than yesterday. <clears throat> The 60s witnessed an explosion and the inventiveness of uh, philosophical thinking, especially in, in, in France. We think it, it is safe to say uh, that there seems to have been a proper uh, French uh, philosophical moment in that, in that uh, period. But today the situation seems to be quite different from, uh, from back then. And most philosophy seems to have been uh, assimilated to the constraints of the academy. Even the idea of the death of uh, philosophy uh, appears to have aged badly and does not shock anyone uh, anymore. Uh, moreover, philosophers are often content with their limited influence or social uh, political relevance. Mm -hmm. Other disciplines seems to have taken uh, care of the formerly philosophical issues and, and, and questions. So our very broad question uh, is, how do you see the, the situation of philosophy today? Uh, is there, or rather, is there any need or significance for philosophical uh, thinking in our, in our situation? Well, um... Well, so, so first, a, a few words, you know, about the specificity of the French philosophical moment of of of, of the of the sixties. You know, uh, for me, the specificity of that moment is that it was uh, it was a time when uh, philosophy could cross cross borders, borders between disciplines, and even borders between theory and empirical research. As for instance, you know, in the case in the case of of Foucault, you know, you know. Finding, uh, you know, finding fault, uh, uh, finding fault in a way, if, everywhere and, and in, place, in places what, what, uh, that was not, not su supposed, you know, to be devoted to, to thinking. You know. So uh, there, there was uh, there was there was a moment of that uh, kind of kind of journey of a philosophical journey. Uh, so uh, well, so 
medicine, uh, social institution, it's not it's ethology it, as well as art of literature. But at the moment, was important, you know, is that it was not a philosophy only, you know, and so it, it, it was not reflection, you know, on on other forms of rationality, you know. So uh, so uh, on 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 the on the one hand, you know, um, well, it, it was a kind of distance with the idea of philosophy having its own specific object and domain, and at the same time, it it was a distance with the idea of philosophy as a form of thinking that, uh, that, that reflects on, you know, on the politics or science or art, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think uh, this is for me what what is what what, what was important what was important you know uh, the, the idea that uh, you have not philosophy on this side you know and the objects of philosophy on the on, on the other side you know? so so this idea that uh, what that thought uh, thought is every that thought is everywhere that thought is immanent to the to 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 the objects of philosophical uh, of philosophical uh, re re reflection so the idea at the same time that uh, thought is everywhere and that that if philosophy wants you know to to uh, well, to to embrace you know, to to embrace you know that, that everywhere that everywhere she had she it has to be elsewhere so this relation you know between the everywhere and the elsewhere okay and it's clear that we are far from this uh, freedom today you know, of course there was the academic uh, restoration uh, when which, which which has many aspects and and one of course of the the aspects of the academic restoration is uh, one that philosophers have uh, to had to become specialists you know of a certain of a certain of a certain uh, you know, domain and not, notably a, a domain is in the in the history in the history of philosophy and of course that was also linked with the transformation of academic careers you know because well, we could we we could take a distance with our position of academic uh, as as academics with uh, our authority as academics and, and it has become it has become very well it has become very difficult you know in the uh, in, in the in the current conditions you know of academic careers you know to take a, to take a distance um, make a distance between uh, between one's uh, one's philosophical research and work and one's position you know as an academic uh, which which also which, which means you know but it was well it, it was uh, it had been difficult you know to well to make experimentations you know as we did and, 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 as we did as we did earlier you know uh, because when well, when you are a specialist you know well uh, you, you know there is a very uh, strict you know field of experiment of verification you know and we, 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 we were we were you know we, we were you know thinking and making statements you know about history the, the, the whole world class struggle etc well it's, you, you, you can really put your ideas to test, you know. But when you are a specialist, you know, of some uh, of some philosopher of the 18th of the 18th century, well, in in a way, you know, you, you can you can make the the verification uh, directly, you know, and and you 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 are not obliged, you know, really to put it to test in relation to uh, to the global world. You know? And of course, the, the, the point is, you know, that, uh, well, uh, you know, philosophers now have a few, uh, have few opportunities, you know, of really uh, putting to test, you know, their, 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 their ideas you know, at, a, at, a global, at a global level. You know. this, is the, uh, this is the first point. The second point, I would say, is uh, the, 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 the new state, the new status of of social science, and, and the institutionalization of the relations between academic world, political, uh, well, political, or, or, or I would say, uh, governmental institutions, you know, and and me and media, you know, well, that that created a kind of well uh, wide network of consensual knowledge about who we are where we are uh, in which in what time in what time we live you know what is the future what is the future etc etc our our um, etc well there had been a kind of constitution of this big uh, explanatory, explanatory, you know, uh, net, net, network, you know, events, situation, events, situation are all interpreted, you know, by experts, you know. 
by you and, and at, at, at every time you know the media call expert to really uh, explain every 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 everything you know everything with the idea of course but but everything has to be deciphered you know and so so I think we, we live in a kind of uh, of uh, intellectual world which is structured which is structured by the, perhaps uh, the relationship between two or three sciences first political economy political economy explains why why things must be like they are you know uh, so uh, why uh, why are, why our governments you know do just uh, the, the only thing that can be scientifically you know done and uh, and on the other side there are uh, there are you know political science or sociology that uh, that explain that why we have to, why why we adhere you know to this rationality even we if we are dissatisfied you know so there is this kind of uh, uh, wide network of explanations on the on the on the one side why things must must be you know like they are on the other side what why do you adhere you know to the, to the to to the state to the state of things, you know? and of course it, it, this makes for a kind of sick greed of of expl of, of explanations, you know. Well, with not much not not much place, you know, for for dissensual thinking, you know. And of course uh, there is a, there is certainly a need for dissensual thinking. I mean, a, a form of thinking, you know, but. Undoes, but, but undoes, you know, the measures of the grid, you know. Uh, the point is, well, I don't think that there is a specific discipline that is endowed, you know, with the task and the virtue, you know, of undoing, of undoing the, the measures, you know, because, well, uh, what sometimes, of course, I think uh, I'm a bit uh, suspicious, you know, uh, between some some attempts at reviving some kind of uh, philosophical heroism, you know. So philo philosophy, you know, elevating itself, you know, above, you know, the the you know, the, the social the social quagmire, you know, and and restoring, you know, the rights the rights of high of high of high thinking, you know. Well, why um, does it seem ambiguous to to me, you know? Uh, because I think, uh, well, this is a way uh, also of adapting to what uh, to, to what is supposed to be the task, you know, of philosophy in the consensual order. You know, the philosophy is supposed precisely well to be the well the point of view from above. You know, and, so, and sometimes you know, philosophical philosophic philosophers are called precisely, you know, well to take to take height, you know, to take height, to take distance, you know, uh, and well. Uh, so so well, so well, when philosophers you know uh, play play this play this part you know uh, well I, I think well for me there is a kind of complicity in fact you know with the consensual with the consensual order you know with people you know dealing with well, 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 dealing with well, as a, well, the, the, well, the, the social, the social democratic quagmire, you know, and 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 philosopher taking high, taking distance. Uh, for, for, from from my point of view, you know, uh, the point of view, you know, is not, you know, uh, well, taking the position of the high against the low, but uh, rather taking distance in relation to the very maps, you know, to the very maps, you know, that determine the relation between the high, between the high and and the low, you know, and. So, so which means that for me, you know, uh, the, if there is a task of philosophy, or if I can think of myself as a philosopher, which is not, uh, which is not mandatory, uh, you know, I, I I think that the task is 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 rather well trying it well trying to really to 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 uh, to to undo to undo you know the really the, the measures of the grade you know rather than standing you know above the grade. I think the, the 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 next question connects very well to this because you uh, to the, to to this idea of undoing uh, of the grid, um, because you you have been rather critical of the um, let's say authoritative or hierarchical structures implied in philosophical but also in other theoretical discourses, and demonstrated over and over again that one has to complicate, maybe even deconstruct the idea or undo, maybe we could say, the idea that is always relevant or easily identifiable from which position a discourse is articulated. Um, how would you describe your own theoretical practice in, in this in this conjuncture, in this field? What is, so to speak, the Rancierian method? 
is it philosophical? I mean, we can already, already anticipate that you will complicate this, but. Um... Okay. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps you know. To well, to, we can uh, we can start we can start for, from a sentence you know, that I that I wrote for the back cover of my book, the philosopher and his book, you know, and uh, the, the sentence reads, you know, the first philosophical question is a political question: who can do philosophy? Right. So, so that was uh, in a way the, the starting the starting the starting point, you know, the starting point, and of course, which is not uh, which is not my own idea. That there is a, a very a very old, you know, link done by philosophy between two questions. You know, what is philosophy, and who is the philosopher? So, from uh, from Platon to Deleuze, you know, we we had a lot of answers, you know, to those two questions. So uh, and uh, and we, uh, the the idea that philosophy is at the same time the, the character uh, at the same time uh, well uh, a certain uh, uh, well, the, the quality of a certain of a certain char character you know and so uh, I think uh, I, I really started you know for uh, because I because of course it was it was Plato of course that was in in my mind and that moment you know uh, this uh, this I this idea about the about the, the what, the, the what you know the what is philosophy what is thinking etc etc the what is always is always uh, linked you know with a uh, with a uh, who you know and the who itself you know is linked with a uh, where you know because uh, precisely plato describes uh, describes uh, the, the position of the philosopher and of the non-philosopher, you know, you know, well, in the context precisely of a of a space, which is a matter of space, which is a matter of distribution of of of, pos of position, distribution of position, which is also distribution of capacities and incapacities. So, if you are at this or that place, you are able, you are able or unable to do uh, to do philosophy. So, uh, so for me, you know, there were there were you know, two, two aspects, you know, really, uh, uh, you know, strongly intertwined, you know. Uh, first, the enunciation, the, the philosophical enunciation, you know, uh, depends on aware, meaning depends on the distribution of, of position. But second, the question of the, the, of the where is a philosophical question, not a sociological or historical or historical question. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, I think uh, for, for me, what was important is the link, you know, between these uh, these two statements, you know. And you must think, you know, of course, of the way uh, uh, the way in, in which you know I I, I came I, I came, you know, to 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 this. Uh, to this position, you know, which for me it's it started from my inquiry about 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 social emancipation. You know, at a certain moment, you know, I I realized, you know, that uh, that, that this work, you know, about uh, so workers' food, workers' emancipation, workers' movement, uh, that well, it was it could not it, it could not be really uh, what emancipation meant uh, could not uh, could not uh, could not be uh, understood you know uh, only you know uh, through economical and social modes of explanation you know it has it it, ha, it had really to to be uh, to be posited, you know, in relation in relation to to philosophy, to to this this question, you know, the, uh, the, this philosophical way, you know, of positing capacity and incapacities, places, places, and displacements, and 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 so on. So, um, so I, I had to realize that social issues, you know, were only thinkable, you know, uh, from uh, from the point of view of philosophy in a way, you know, uh, Plato uh, Plato says, you know. Uh, well, uh, a worker is uh, is uh, a worker is somebody who has no time. He, he is in this place, you know, and this is a place when there is no time. So there's this relation between well, a time, a place, and an incapacity, an incapacity, you know. And uh, well, what was striking for me is 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 that you know, uh, well, uh, I find I find the same kind of, of linkage between time, space, and capacity or incapacity in the workers' text. You know, I was uh, so I was dealing with. So first, so first, for, for first point, you know, social issues are only in, intelligible, you know, uh, through 
for well the stage setting you know but as that has been you know uh, conceived by philosophy but of course there is a, there is a, there is also reverse you know that philosophy itself is part of this stage setting you know uh, so uh, uh, so by so 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 so, so by, by start by starting point you know my starting point was uh, well always linking uh, the what the who and the where and uh, and thinking of philosophical issues you know in that relation between a what a who and a where well, for instance you know <clears throat> uh, thinking that time uh, that time is always uh, is always you know well a form of separation between those who have time and those who have who have not who have, who have, who have not time you know uh, thinking of the universal not only as a logical opposite you know to the particular but as the quality of a certain category of beings you know who, who, who think that they have the privilege of the universal you know and put you know of course other people you know on the bad side of the particular and so on or you know uh, thinking uh, thinking of the uh, 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 for, 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 for some, the Aristotelian distinction between between human logos and between human logos and animal voice, you know, that, that is at the foundation of philosophy of uh, politics. You know, thinking of it precisely not only uh, no, not only as a distinction between man and animal, but as a distinction between men themselves, as uh, as a way precisely of rejecting uh, the major part of the uh, of the humankind, you know, on the side of the on the side of the animals. So, uh, so I would say that this is uh, that. Well, thinking really of philosophical issues are, all, are all, as always we you know uh, connected with the idea with the idea of a who and a where you know but that's the first point as for the method itself is pro my process you know well I think uh, perhaps it can can be defined as uh, well the fact of drawing drawing lines lines you know that cross that cross that go across across you know borders and here are hierarchies of discourse well to restage you know a philosophical issue or a philosophical notion or debate within the wider rationality of that of that way, of that distribution of posi of positions and capacity, you know that uh, uh, that I name at a certain point, you know, a distribution of the sense of the sensible. So drawing draw, draw, drawing drawing these kinds of 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 line, you know, where this means precisely creating uh, when uh, unknown or, or a bit a bit strange, you know, or inappropriate inappropriate links between philosophical text and non-philosophical text. Uh, this is, for instance, what I did, you know, in, uh, in uh, La Maison Tante, uh, disagree, disagree, disagreement, you know, well, well Arist Aristotle, you know, uh, says, tells us that politics is a manifestation of a certain specifically human high stasis, you know. Well, let, let us try to put this idea to test, you know, well, precise, precisely by widening, you know, the, corp the, the, the corpus, you know, within which it can be to test, you know. So, so put it to test, for instance, through uh, text like Balanche's narrative of the revolts of the revolts of the um, um, of the revolt of the plebeians on the Aventine, you know, who, 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 who you know, precisely makes the point, you know, uh, that it is not a matter not a matter of conflict only of conflicting interest between patri plebeians and patricians, but the, the point is whether the plebeians uh, speak or not, you know. Or, 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 for instance, you know, also in, in disagreement, you know, I, I put I put it in uh, in in relation, you know, uh, to a manifesto of of Taylor's in uh, Taylor's on strike, you know, in uh, 1833 in Paris, you know, well, well, everything, everywhere, everything, you, you know, drew on uh, on a question of what it, what it means, you know, to hear, what it means to understand, you know, and what is the relationship 
conversation between hearing, he, hearing what the other says, you know, and understanding what, what, what he says. So, well, okay, uh, in a say, uh, perhaps the core of my, of my method, you know, is, well, uh, drawing, drawing, drawing such lines, you know, and creating such, uh, such uh, little scenes, you know, where an idea is, well, really put to test on, on a wider stage, you know, or in a way it's displaced, you know, on this wider stage. And of course, it, it, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a matter, you know, of giving, uh, well, Concrete examples, you know. <laughs> it's not a matter of, of giving concrete examples. It, it's it, it's a it, it's a matter of widening the stage, you know, uh, in order to 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 espouse the very movement, you know, uh, through which the the universal exists, you know. So my, my so so my idea, of course, is that well, the, the universal doesn't exist doesn't doesn't exist, you know, as a, well the rule, you know, the rule, and with its it, its examples that are particular. No, the universal exists in a process of universalization, which is which is always a conflict a conflictual conflictual process, you know. So in in politics, you know. You start from a, well, a small, a small local, local, you know, particular quest, question, you know, and what, uh, and we make we, we make it, you know, uh, 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 well, an, another debate, another uh, another debate, the debate, uh, the de uh, so so, uh, so the question be uh, uh, becoming well. Uh, do uh, do do we share the, 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 uh, in what what world world do we live or do we share the same world same world or do we share the same the same the same language? So well, politics happens, you know, precisely when there is this kind of uh, universalization, which means that people who are confined, you know, in the domain of the particular, prove their capacity of making the universal, you know, exist. You know, and of course, it's the same. Uh, it's, uh, it's the same with art. So I, I wrote this book. I say this: fourteen sins, <clears throat> fourteen sins of the aesthetic regime of art. Well, the fourteen sins are not. Well, uh, examples, you know, of art, of particular arts, you know, within the ethnic regime. No, the, uh, these things are moments of constitution of this regime, of this regime itself. You know, so it, it's not a matter. It's not a matter of giving uh, of giving concrete examples. You know, it's a matter. It's a matter of showing how the universality of art as a specific mode of sensible experience, you know, is constituted, you know, through precisely uh, all those moments, you know, uh, those moments when, well, representations, of representation, objects, etc., performances, uh, performances which were not art artistic, precisely create a new universality of art. Okay, so so I've, well, this is the rationality of the census, and of course this is the kind of rationality that I try precisely to embrace, uh, to to embrace, uh, to embrace my, myself. You know, so I, I I could say I tried, but I tried to transpose into in the domain of knowledge this kind of uh, this kind of dissensual, dissensual way, you know, of of of, of thinking, you know. Oh, so I, I try to do it precisely by demand, dismantling, you know, the borders between disciplines, so the borders between theory and empir and empirical research, you know, why well, to to draw lines of equality and planes of equality, you know, between domains that are not supposed, you know, to communicate, which. Ultimately, you know, uh, drawing lines of equality uh, between categories of human beings that are not supposed to speak the, the same language, you know, and use the same sort of brain. So, no, so just to conclude, uh, to, to make things clear, you know, a, a method of equality is a form of intelligibility that is not based on the supposition, for instance, you know, that the tailors on, on strike are as good philosophers as Aristotle, no. It, it's just, just a method uh, to, uh, that, that tries to show that they speak of the same thing, namely the distribution of the sensible, you know, that makes the worker be, be, advet, uh, the workers be advet, at this place and Aristotle or philosophy, you know, be at that place. You know. So last question, is this philosophy or not? Uh, 
well, what I can say is that it is what my journey uh, for some philosophers and some philosophers' issues uh, allowed me to do, you know. But of course, people can say, oh, no, this is not philosophy. Well, this is not so, this is not a, this is not a big problem uh, for, for me, you know. Uh, but at, at the same time, I have the idea that uh, the idea that what I do is not philosophy has some kind of connections with with other kinds of judgments, like you know, for instance, you know, uh, those people who are claiming, uh, who are you know, shouting in the streets against uh, the the pension refor reform, you know. I mean, it is not it is not politics, you know, or you know, so uh, or, 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 or another another statement, you know, the statement made by by, by a critic, you know, contemporary. Or, of, uh, of Flaubert, you know, about sentimental education, saying there is no book here. You know. So, again, I, in a way, I can say, okay, there is no philosophy here, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I think, you know, I'm doing the same, the same, the same thing as people who made a book, who make a book that is a non, that is not a book, you know, or people that that make, you know, those protests that are not politics. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I can easily connect to, 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 to what you said, because we, what we would like to move to the, the contemporary, the present situation. Uh, the new wave of protests, demonstrations and strikes that are happening in France, in France right now, seem to be also as a, uh, also as a result of uh, Macron's pension reform and related legislative uh, decisions. What is your analysis of the political and ideological uh, situation in France uh, today, which we believe uh, is in some in some ways must be an outcome, even if it is a long uh, outcome of what happened or failed or could have happened in the '68. But of course, we could we could be completely wrong on this uh, assumption. No, no, no. Uh, so uh, well, I think that what happens, what happens, uh, what happens uh, now in France is at the same time, you know. The same thing that happens, you know, uh, everywhere, you know, in our countries, but also uh, precisely with the specific with the specificity of well, precise a feel a, 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 a French tradition, you know, of 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 fight, you know, that precisely reaches back, you know, to the city, to to the seventies, to the seventies. Uh, okay, uh, well, so so in a way, uh, it, well, what happens here is uh, well uh, the last episode of a long uh, process uh, process that happens, you know, everywhere, you know, in our in the Western world, you know, process of subordination of all political and social institution and all forms of life to the law of an absolutized, you know, ca absolutized capitalism. Uh, what is sometimes uh, called uh, neoliberalism? Well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, we are an appellation which I think is is totally inappropriate, you know, uh, for two reasons. First, because neoliberalism is the name of a doctrine, and it's not about, it's not a matter of doctrine. It's a matter of a process, a process of destruction, of, of, of destruction of all forms of social solidarity, you know, uh, of social public services and so on. You know, so so a, a process of privatization of all social relations, you know, and and not at uh, and not at all, you know, in a liberal way, you know, <laughs> but very it's a very violent process, you know. Carried out by state institution, uh, the, the supranational institution, you know, and uh, with possibly, you know, uh, the, the, the help, the help of of police, you know, of police. So, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, this is a, the reason you know, to suspect this idea of neoliberalism, you know. And the second is that well, neoliberalism includes the signifier liberty or, or freedom, you know. And, uh, and of course, it allows for all forms of confusion, you know, and notably the idea that, well, liberty is just, you know, the mask covering uh, the exploitation. If not, it's very close, you know. And, and of course, I think here of all those uh, contemporaries, you know, with friends, you know, uh, that combine, you know, all the marks, all the 
old Marxism, you know, with a kind of rejuvenated Tocquevillianism, you know, about uh, democratic individualism and so on, you know, and the aspiration to, to freedom, you know, as an instrument of a renewed subjection to capitalism. So, so then, now uh, uh, let us go back to the point, to the point itself. So this offensive of, of, of capital, the point, the specificity of the French situation is that I think, uh, that I think, and of course my, uh, my my view is totally opposed, you know, to uh, to a kind of sociological doxa, you know, the sociological doxa is that uh, May 68, you know, was a forerunner for the rejuvenation of capitalism, you know, etc., new forms of management and so on. My own, uh, my own point is exactly the contrary, you know, uh, my own point is that, you know, uh, the, the, well, the, the, the offensive of Capitalist modernization had been blocked in France, you know, in a way that it's very upset, you know, and, and, and for me, this is also what uh, what the 68 revolt uh, was, uh, was about, you know, a, re a revolt against capitalism, capitalist modernism that was called neo capitalism at that, at, at that moment, and, and a revolt against a kind of, no, of knowledge that it implied, you know. And uh, so, so I, uh, I, I, but I, I don't want, to, of course, to uh, to elaborate too much uh, on, on 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 this point, you know. But well, uh, well, uh, I I always, you know, I always, you know, uh, recall that well. Sixty-eight happened, you know, after a big, 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 you know, intell intellectual movement, you know, about reform, reforming everything, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. New uh, you know, class struggle is all is over. All archaic things are over, you know. And, and uh, well, so, so that was the idea. Of, uh, all, 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 all this all, all this matter of social struggles you know, it, it's uh, all, all those matters you know of revolt it is think of the past you know and, well and then 68 you know so barricades you know coming from <laughs> from, from you know from the past precisely you know uh, to to block to block to block in a way the offensive of new capitalist rationality new new, new social science etc so I think, and, and I think uh, really, well, it was, uh, as, 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 I, as I told earlier, you know, was uh, really the, the moment of creation of kind of, of, democ of strong democratic, democratic tradition, you know, that what was very efficient, very efficient, but to block, to block, you know, the, the was well, the repeated offense, uh, you know, offensive, you know, of our, of our governments, you know, to have precisely all uh, those, uh, uh, well, uh, all those archaic, you know, archaic privileges of the workers, you know, destroyed, you know. So, and of course, and of course, and, and this is and this is what uh, what succeeded, uh, for instance, in nineteen in nineteen ninety five. You know, with the first a very big uh, a big movement. You know, against uh, pension uh, pension reform, or in two in two thousand and six with a big the big movement. You know, against uh, against a new form of of labor of labor contract. So, so of course, so so I think we are living this. Uh, the originality of the French situation, you know, is uh, what is what what happened, you know, in the United States. What happened? What happened in in in, uh, in England, in Germany, and everywhere, you know. It could not so easily happen in France, you know, <laughs> precisely because there, was, there had been this kind, you know, uh, uh, this kind of creation of, of of a new movement against against capitalist modernization. And, but of course, our governments uh, did not stop uh, fighting, you know, uh, and of course, because they have, they have their agenda, they have the agenda, you know, it's not their agenda, it's the agenda of uh, international capitalism, you know, so all forms of social solidarity, of all social solidarity uh, must be must be destroyed. And of course, it's not, it's not a matter of sparing you know, some, some money, you know, not, not a matter of balance, you know, of balance, you know, of, uh, no. Um, 
between gains, uh, gains and losses. You know, the issue at stake is to break really all forms of solidarity from below, all forms of collective, collective force, you know, of the workers, uh, all idea of a capaci collective capacity, you know, of the equal. So, that, 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 so that, that's the real issue at stake. And, and well, the point is that now, that, that, that now, of course, you know, perhaps the, the, the situation has, has changed, you know, in two ways. You know, first, you know, well, it, 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 the, the current movement uh, showed that well the, the workers union were no more able to block the, to block our economy you know <laughs> for, for long you know they were able and now it, it is clear that they are not able this is the first point the second the second point you know is so uh, they, they are in front of a government that has brushed aside any political obstac obstacles, you know, to their agenda, you know. Uh, well, uh, if you think of what happened in 90, in 90, in 1995, what happened in 2006, you know, well, uh, it is the fact, you know, that, well, our corrupt politicians, you know, Chirac of Sarkozy, at the same time, they were hindered, you know, by the idea that, they had, they had, they, had, they were accountable to a subject called the people. You know, they, they were accountable to a subject. You know, and and and, and it was not possible. It was, it was not possible you know, to impose a reform if it was obvious. You know that the people, you know, did not agree, did not agree with it. You know. And so, uh, but did not really accept it. You know, and of, but and this is what has, has entirely disappeared. You know. But entirely disappeared because now our our governance um, have no idea that there is such a, such a subject. You know, so this subject is a mere abstraction. You know, so they, they are only accountable. You know, well to to the law of to the law of of, of the market to the law of cap, of capitalism that distincts their, their agenda. You know? So well, what is what thing? What is this? Is one of the aspects, of course, of, of the situation. You know, uh, we, we, because we we all we all know. You know this state this statement by Marx, you know, that uh, our governments are only, you know, business offers of, uh, of capitalism. But, uh, uh, obviously, that was not the case, you know, in Marx's time, in Marx's time. So, and even 10, even 10, 10 years or 20 years ago, it was exactly the case. But it has become, it has become, uh, I think, uh, the case, you know, the case that we, but really our, our governments now are only accountable, you know, to, cap to capitalist, uh, capitalist flow, you know, and of course, in front of, well, in front of uh, forces that have no more the possibility, you know, of 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 blocking of blocking the economic life of the country. Uh, to, to connect to the uh, issue or question of the um, presence or absence of a collective capacity or that is able to to say something about or organize the solidarity from below, in in the proletarian night, the workers' dreams. Um, in 19th century France, you demonstrate how intricate and complex the actual formation of an emancipatory collective practice um, in a certain within a certain period actually is. Uh, and you also show how, therefore, one has to resist somehow uh, any fetishization or substantialization of the working class, which would lead to idealize it as a homogeneous or unified class per se, uh, free existing pre its 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 eman uh, uh, practice of of emancipation. Um, what is rather needed, you seem to uh, you you indicate for a proper comprehension of emancipatory agency or emancipatory capacity, is an appreciation of its heterogeneous composition and constitution. And and your work demonstrates how this frustrates, um, let's say, classical classical or orthodox Marxisms, um, and how the latter's um, 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 was what, what, how the emancipation of the working class was rather linked to implementing or to undoing, as you said earlier, uh, the regime of time, reading and doing what they were not supposed to do when they were supposed to reproduce the labor force only by sleeping. Um, do you think? 
we can still speak in any meaningful way um, today of the proletariat uh, or of the proletarian capacity. And if so, is it the agent that appears when someone challenges what you call the distribution of the, uh, the sensible? So does it appear, does the proletariat appear, what you call it the proletariat, when the present and dominant uh, distribution of the sensible is challenged? Well, well, uh, well uh, so, so uh, and, uh, well, the fact is, you know, that well, I, I, well, in the night in the night of the proletarian, you know, well, I tried to undo the the, the usual conne connection, you know, uh, between uh, proletaria as a political subject and proletar and proletaria as, you know, so uh, as um, 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 as a, a, a social group, as a social group, you know. So, so I, I tried to, I tried to, to, to show, you know, how, well, how to, what are the, so what are the, 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 the very signifiers, you know, of proletarian, proletarian subjectivity, proletarian struggle were created, were, were, crea were created, you know, by, by workers we, who precisely did not, uh, did not want to, 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 or to stick. To their to their position, you know, as members of a group, which means to stick to the position that, that was ours, you know, given distribution of the of of the of the sense of the sensible. You know. Well, the point. Uh, so so I uh, so uh, and, um, and the same thing. The point is that historically, you know. Uh, but historically, the, the distinction has always uh, uh, been uh, more or less covered, you know. For instance, if we think what happened with Marxism, of course, uh, well, in a way, you know, uh, Ma Marx famously said that uh, proletariat is not, uh, is not a class uh, of society, but the dissolution of all classes, you know. But, but on the other side, you know, there is this, this view, this view that uh, proletariat, proletariat is a social group that has been really trained by its place in the process of capitalist production, capitalist rationalization, and second, you know, trained, you know, in the in the struggle and the struggle guided by science, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there, there are, in, in fact, you know, in fact, I would say that uh, well, the the history, the history of workers' struggle has always been built, you know. Uh, both on the distinction and on the and, and on the con uh, confusion confusion you know between a political subject as as a result of of a whole uh, process of disidentification uh, go going through many for for many ways you know and you know of course the idea of of the, the class as the positive as a positive you know force within uh, within the existing system you know well and. Uh, uh, the, the point, uh, the, 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 the point is now, of course, that we are, we have a, a new a new situation. New situation. New situation. I would say is that well, the process of disidentification, you know, that, that, that was done by uh, by workers through many experiences, experiences with time, experiences with space, experiences with 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 words. Uh, and, and, and many forms and many forms of, uh, of of sensible experience. Well, the process of disidentification, in a way, has been anticipated or has been done by capitalism itself. You know, <laughs> and I think the the originality of our situation is that it is capitalism that disidentified, you know, the the the, the, the workers or the or the or the, or the, or the proletarian, you know, and so and so. Uh, in a way, of course, uh, some aspects of the current situation uh, can recall uh, can recall us of uh, one of well, uh, you know of, of, of what I would uh, call my workers, you know, because now people are you know this kind of of broken time, a time which is made of well, it, it which made you know of well uh, of. Uh, um, moments uh, where people are at work are not at work. <laughs> they, they, they work, but they are no they are no more uh, members of uh, of a working of a working collective. Uh, there is this multiplicity of individual situations, you know, and of course this this global this global experience, you know, that uh, of a time which which is again made of holes, you know, but. 
but 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 at the same time, the, the point is that this situation is clearly the the result of a defeat. You know, as a result of a process of disidentification made by the enemy by the enemy itself. You know, so well that there is a real problem about the conditions for a new subjectivization. You know, that that, that could name. You know. A new political agent, you know, in the same way as the proletariat or the or, or the or, or the working or the working class, you know. And so what we see, what we see, what we see with clearly, and of course, of course, what was obvious, you know, in the the, the movements of the the movements of of, of the places, the, the, the occupy movements, Nuit uh, debout, uh, and so on, you know, as well, in a way, you know, we have. I would say all the, the fragments, the fragments, you know, of an attempted, you know. New subjectivization, you know, of 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 the situation of the situation, you know. Well, I think, for instance, uh, you know, of this uh, famous uh, sign, you know, exhibited by a uh, by a protester, you know, in uh, uh, during Occupy Wall Street, you know, uh, which read uh, "Lost a job, found an occupation." You know? So, okay, uh, well, so so uh, occupation against uh, against uh, against job, you know. Well, it means one word against an other, you know. And I often said that well, politics is the articulation, uh, in a way, of a conflict of forces with a conflict of words, you know. <laughs> no, 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 not only, you know. A social group against another social group, you know, or the exploited against the exploit as exploiters, but you know, in a way, two two words, you know, a word a word of equals uh, against, you know, a word of inequality. Well, so, uh, but uh, I think, and there was uh, there was a time where uh, when the, the conflict of forces was was he was hidden was hidden precisely behind the conflict uh, the conflict of words was hidden you know uh, uh, you know behind the conflict of forces and now we I think we are in a kind of uh, opposite opposite situation you know uh, meaning that what what we what we we could see you know on all the on all you know the the, 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 the squares you know during occupation movements you know, was the, the attempt uh, in a way at Directly positing, you know, a conflict of words, you know, but this conflict of words uh, cannot be, uh, can no more, you know, uh, at the same time be, be identified with a conflict of of forces, you know, which means that we are we have something as a, well a field of subject of subjective of subjectivation, you know, but without the possibility, you know, of of naming of naming the new the, 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 the new the new the new subject, you know, so well so something that is in a way uh, half halfway between uh, between a uh, well aesthetic uh, aesthetic or artistic uh, movement of reframing, you know, the coordinates of time and of time and space, you know. And the political creation of a subject of this reframing. <clears throat> uh, thank, thank you so much. I, I think we can easily connect this to the, the, the some, some claims made by a uh, uh, numerous uh, critical thinkers who say that we have undergone a change in the uh, organization of the dominant uh, forms of labor which have changed the predominance of uh, manual labor and has rather resulted in uh, a cognitive or intellectual labor having become the main form uh, the main form of labor do you think the distinction between the manual and intellectual labor has still has some um, critical or uh, explan explanatory potential well, uh, uh, no, I, I think that uh, first we we have you know, in a way to well to to examine you know the to examine you know, I, I would say the uh, the context and as a, as a context you know of the of, of this kind of this kind you know of uh, of conceptualization you know so. Um, uh, so, so my 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 own i my own idea, you know, is that uh, well, the, the argumentation about uh, about the, the shift from uh, from uh, manual to intellectual or, or cognitive work, 
you know, uh, the, the argumentation about the change, you know, the changes in the composition, you know, of, 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 of capital, you know. Well, uh, first, uh, so this idea of change, that, that things have changed. Uh, I, I mean, in a way, uh, in a way, for me, it's it's a way of asserting that that, 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 that that there has been no change. Meaning, meaning that the old model, you know, you know, is is, is still is still val valuable, you know. So the the old model, meaning, you know, the idea that well. It is the development of the productive forces, you know, and their clash with relations of productions uh, or production that opens, you know, that opens the path to the future of communism. And of course, uh, in a way, it is a very, very seductive, you know, argument, you know, because of course, if you move from if you move from the predominance of manual labor to the predominance of intellectual labor. It, it, you, first, you you can rescue the, the model, the old model, you know, uh, even the, the if you know is uh, the crisis in the old style, you know, uh, no no more exists, you know, uh, meaning crisis of surplus of production, things like that, of course. But well, uh, no, so so, no, so no, not only you know it's. Uh, it's a way to, to rescue the model, but also to, to make it work uh, better, because of course, the argument is that, well, since uh, collective power uh, uh, of capital now is immaterial, is immaterial, is immaterial, you know, it means that, well, the collective power of, of capital is always, you know, in the end of, in the ends of the immaterial work, and so that, in a way, you know, capitalism itself has become communist. Well, my point is that uh, capitalism has not become communist, uh, nor as nor as it turned, you know, all manual processes of production into immaterial ones, you know, uh, but because factories still exist. Of course, we we don't see them anymore because they have been <laughs> they have been relocated far 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 away, you know, in countries where the labor force is less expensive. And the workers have been trained, you know, to to obedience, uh, better better than here. You know. So, uh, factories still exist, and they are still populated by uh, manual workers. You know, as long as their work is less expensive, you know, than, than, than the, the robots, uh, than the work of robots, and and. And we also know that for many kinds of industry, what has come after after the, the end of the big factory of the big factories, you know, of big factory work, is not becoming immaterial, you know, but a, a return to form of pre-capitalist or proto-capitalist forms of industry. Think, for instance, you know, of the case of text, textile industry in China, you know, so where, so where production is made really by, by people, you know, in, in, the, in, in villages, in the, mount, in, in the mountains, you know. So, um, so, uh, so uh, in a way, I, I would say, well, on, uh, on the first side, you know, uh, well, the, diff the material difference between intellectual and manual labor still exists from a, from a material point of view, you know. Uh, so working on computers, con computer has not has not been substituted everywhere for working with, with with your hands, you know, and also working on computers is definitely not the same as working to extract in Congo the materials, the materials, you know, for the computer, no, 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 not the same as working, you know, in Foxconn, in, Foxconn, in China, you know, uh, so, so to, to transform those, uh, those materials into electronic uh, uh, components. Well, but on the other side, it's clear, or the point is also that capitalist process of valorization doesn't rely on the exploitation of this or that kind of labor. It relies on the exploitation of time, of, of labor time. So it's first of all a matter of time. So the first point is not about whether it is the brain or the, or the hands in the matter at work, because uh, it, because in, in any case, you know, both brain and, and hands are, you know, are, you know, are, are used, you know. The point is about, con is about contract, you know, it's about time, it's about time and about the, the control of over time, you know. And, and, in, the, and in this way, you know, uh, if, if we see it from this, from this point of, of, of view, you know, well, the, 
uh, immaterial labor can be viewed uh, can be viewed uh, you know as a form of of, la of labor where the exploitation of time can be optimized you know because there are no more clocks you know to stop to stop to stop to stop work you know there are no more there is, uh, no, uh, you know no more uh, no, no more limits to the work to the work day and uh, and no workers collected you know able to interrupt the work the, the work day you know so there is a possibility of extending the work day to, of extending Extending the exploitation of, of, of labor by blurring, you know, all frontiers, you know, between the time of work and the time of life. And of course, there was a time, you know, where this blurring of the front of the frontiers uh, was held, was held, you know, as the opportunity for a, a new evolutionary movement, you know, the idea that that now, since you know, in fact, immaterial immaterial labor, you know, has well, has been identical to the time of life itself, you know, so the new the new revolution, the revolution of the cognitive workers, you know, uh, would be an insurrection of life, of life itself, you know, an insurrection of life, of, of, of affects, of affects, of, of the bodies, etc., etc., and not only a mere insurrection of work. You know. Well, I think that now it appears that, uh, well, in, that, that, uh, that, in reality, that in reality, you know, this uh, blurring of the of, of the frontiers of the frontier of the work day, you know, it means a stronger of appropriation of both workforce and of life, uh, a stronger appropriation by capital of by capitalism, so that. The, the so-called dematerialization of labor may have, in fact, uh, made uh, made this exploitation stronger. Well, hi everyone. Um, that was the first bit, the first installment of our conversation with Jacques Ancier. Um, there will be a second half and a second installment, which will come out uh, very soon. So stay tuned. Um, and uh, please subscribe to our channel, um, become a follower. Um, that's um, helpful for us uh, to sustain exactly that, um, that thing that we're trying to do here um, and have meaningful, relevant conversations about uh, philosophy and its other scenes, so to speak, with uh, relevant and distinguished um, guests. Um, is there anything I uh, should uh, add to this, Agon? Uh, well, it, I would just, Add that it would be really uh, it would be really nice if you could uh, support us at our Patreon page, so if we could, as Frank said, sustain uh, both the journal as well as the the podcast. So thank you very much, and see you soon with the second installment with Jacques Ancier. Okay, take care, everyone.